British Columbia is gorgeous. This province of ours is truly blessed by God. It is surrounded by amazing natural beauties, mountains, lakes, forests, and incredible sceneries, and a wonderful diversity of God's people. British Columbia is home for those who were here first. Even before any of us arrived in this land, those who have worked so hard to make it a beautiful and safe place. It is also home for those who have the tradition to make this place a little heaven on earth. This rich diversity makes British Columbia unique in many ways. And we celebrate this reality as all of us are leaving a legacy to our current younger generation and for others to come. Yes, we are blessed. It is a privilege to live in this part of God's creation. God has a special plan for all his children in British Columbia. As our creator, he embraces all cultures and wants all people to enjoy his offer for a free and wonderful salvation in Jesus Christ. He desires for us, as members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, British Columbia Conference, you and I, to be his ambassadors to share his message of love, peace, compassion, mercy, forgiveness, and unity to all people around us. We are called to be his hands and feet in our communities. All of this make the REACH vision of the British Columbia Conference so spiritually powerful. We are God's messengers who are called to proclaim to our neighbors where he has planted us to shine for him and to our families and friends a Christ-centered message of hope and wholeness. We are an army of over 11,200 members who are willing to make a positive difference in British Columbia for Jesus Christ. Our British Columbia Conference members and pastors are committed to grow God's kingdom in our territory by the power of the Holy Spirit. We have a group of visionaries, creative, dedicated, and hard-working people in our conference. Now I'll let our departmental directors share with you their perspective about our mission here as we work together as a team under the influence of the Holy Spirit. What is the purpose of your department when it comes to serving our field? To equip our pastors to be better shepherds and to reach their communities for Jesus with their members. To communicate the message of salvation in Jesus Christ using all possible creative methods and available platforms to make our Lord's face shine in our communities and His love warm the hearts of people in a way that attracts them to the Master. To use state-of-the-art technology to facilitate the enhancement of the preaching of the Gospel to all of those around us. To assist our youth to strengthen their faith in Christ, discovering their God-given talents, blending these with their energy and creativity to be used to share God's love with others who do not know Jesus in their communities yet. To provide a quality Adventist Christian education to our children and youth, one that equips them academically and spiritually to be a blessing in this world in preparation for the world to come. To facilitate the ministry of plan giving among God's people so that we can leave a legacy from the treasures that the Lord has entrusted to us. To help grow God's kingdom through the proclamation of His message of salvation in Christ. To provide support and accountability for a high performance of service from all those who work with the treasure that God's people have provided us to enhance His cause in our conference. To facilitate our literature and food to be readily available to serve our members and to be used as instruments for sharing our faith and lifestyle with those around us. To welcome everyone who comes to our city of refuge to enjoy an environment of peace that inspires us to stay connected with God. We endeavor to keep our BC Conference Sanctuary modern and up-to-date here at beautiful Camp Hope. 
to handle the Lord's money in a responsible and transparent way, and to promote a benevolent spirit of giving in our members to enhance God's cause here in British Columbia. Yes, the BC Conference Office family, administration, and support staff wholeheartedly serve our pastors in the field as our committed group of pastors who are our frontline workers share the good news of the free salvation in Christ with our devoted believers in our 101 churches. The rich diversity represented by nearly 30 different nationalities and ethnicities have no discrimination of age and or gender in our ministerial team. They are endowed with our solid biblical knowledge and exhibit love and tact. Also, they encourage and inspire our members to reflect God's glory and the character of Jesus as they serve their communities. Ultimately, these bring in souls for God's kingdom. Of course, all of this can only be accomplished through the indwelling presence of the Spirit of God in our lives. Recently, our board of directors approved the formation of four new church plants in our territory and the revival and revitalization of two of our churches. The joy of seeing the fruits of our labor as people give their hearts to Jesus is priceless. Hundreds of newly transformed lives for the Lord are joining our churches every year by God's grace. We are now working with the Berman University Theology Department to send some of its students to spend their summer in our field to mingle with people in places where there are no Adventist presence. They are to sow the gospel seeds to generate an interest in Christ's message with a vision to plant a church thereafter. We are praying for these spiritual projects. British Columbia Conference is blessed to have the largest educational system in the SCACC. Our wonderful and caring teachers instruct our children and youth academically and spiritually five days a week in each of our 12 schools. We have been blessed by a surge in financial growth for the last five years, which accounted for the balanced budgets and the hiring of new workers, even amidst serious fiscal challenges nationwide. We also have one of the youngest group of workers in the Canadian Union. God blessed our committed ABC staff and rewarded their efforts to reverse a challenging trend they faced. Through their hard work and creative ways, they were able to expand their services in our conference territory. The ABC has recovered from its past debts and is now serving more people. We praise the Lord for its financial stability and viability. This past summer, in a very bold decision, we closed our Camp Hope activities to shelter the evacuees of the terrible wildfire in Lytton. At the time, we had the privilege and honor to host our Lytton First Nation brothers and sisters and to provide them with accommodation and food during that challenging time in their lives. Our Camp Hope staff and youth worked tirelessly to serve them. Yes, we are in the business of acting compassionately and fulfilling our mission by being the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Our communication department team has produced quarterly reach magazines and 54 inspiring video stories promoting spirituality in our churches. Our monthly conference videos are themed, presenting moving testimonies highlighting miraculous conversions, the blessings of faithful stewardship, answered prayers, focused mission, family worship, youth involvement, health projects, local church and school ministries, and the beautiful spirit of volunteerism in our conference. Our field has been tremendously blessed by this ministry for the last four years. Our greatest capital project needs are being addressed through the generosity of God's people here in our conference. Our new bathroom in the B section of Camp Hope is a long awaited for project. This new modern washroom at Camp Hope is a project of over 6,000 square feet, including a practical and attractive recreational area. We're planning to open it during our annual camp meeting, hopefully in 2022. We also have the new BC Conference Office Building Project, one that has been a dream for the last 25 years. 
The new office is a four-story building of over 24,000 square feet. Three levels will include individual offices for conference workers and additional offices for future growth. In addition to the ABC, there will be at least two meeting rooms, state-of-the-art media and printing room, plus a full kitchen. One designated floor for three commercial units to generate funds for ministry and a self-contained guest room. Currently, our architects and engineers are in the final stages before submitting to the City of Abbotsford for building permit approval. With the funds already in place for this project through special donations and the sale of an adjacent conference property, by God's grace, it will be a debt-free building project. We have a great team of workers and members in our conference. It's a privilege and honor to work with such a wonderful group of people. This pandemic that we are still facing has claimed thousands of lives around the world. We mourn for each life which was lost, including many of our members who are now resting in the Lord. We look forward to the day that the saints of all times we were resurrect from their tombs at the second coming of Jesus. We still have much work to do, empowered by the Holy Spirit. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, to announce the free salvation that Christ offers to all His children around us and to be used by Him to win more souls for His kingdom. Jesus is coming again.